So the business roundtable, you know, the CEO uh, coming out with their information yesterday, and I started to talk about it yesterday. It's very aggravating to me. But, you know, they want, they want all companies to be socially responsible. They think socially responsibility is far more important than bottom lines of their companies. I think this is taking everything too far. There's 200 CEOs that are going to do that. Let me talk about social responsibility for a second with those CEOs. I'll buy into their notion that they want to do everything social responsible. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't want to invest in companies that all they care about is their ideology and the ideology of their employees. I'm going to read between the lines for you in what they're saying. We at corporate America, we at corporate America, have a moral responsibility to make sure that Planned Parenthood stays in existence. We've got to support that. We have a moral obligation to make sure that bathroom bills for everybody get passed. We have a moral obligation to make sure that uh, the LGBTQ, X, Y, whatever it is, Z, whatever, that needs to be a social thing that we got to make sure that that's a civil rights action. We got to make sure that we are supporting all those kinds of things. We've got to make sure that Americans have the right for um, pornography to be able to access pornography at all levels. We have to make sure we have a social conscious responsibility to make sure that second and third graders are being taught about gender identity. So we have a moral obligation to make sure that that happens because that is socially acceptable and socially conscious. Forget about what we do for a living. Forget about that we are all about trying to keep the internet working. Forget about that we are an airline company. Forget that we're building planes. Forget that we are a banking organization or whatever else we might be doing. Forget about that. We don't have a obligation to bring value to the company anymore. We don't have an obligation to be beholden to stockholders anymore. We have an obligation to make America socially responsible. And I want to know why we've got to pay somebody four or five hundred million dollars a year to be the head of an activist organization. Somebody tell me that. Why are we going to pay those kinds of salaries? They want to be socially conscious, then bring in, then share the wealth, man, with everybody in their company. If they're going to pay themselves $200 million, more than that with bonus, how about you spread that out? Because wouldn't that be a lovely, socially right thing to do for all of your employees? I mean, I mean, $15, I forget $15 an hour. Let's get equality throughout your company. It's the socially right thing to do. I'm going to assume for the moment that surely they're all going down that road, right? I'm sure they're all doing that. Because they stood up. They want to do this. They want to be, they want to be focused on being socially conscious. Part of that so socially conscious effort has to be equality, right? It has to be, forget about equality in other areas, but it's got to also include financial equality. Surely it does. These guys are going to stand there or sit there on their high horse and they're going to sit there and say, it's okay, I make, so I make $106 million a year. I deserve it. I'm not, I, listen, I don't have a problem with the activist groups that are fighting for those far left agendas. Go for it. And those that are fighting on the far right, go for it. That's fine. What I got a problem with is if you're a company that builds bulldozers, would you just build bulldozers? There's already activist groups doing whatever it is you want to support. There's all, trust me, there's an activist group out there doing that, supporting that. Why don't you give to them? You want to give Planned Parenthood a million dollars to murder more babies? You can do that. You're free to do that. But do you have to focus your entire company on that as a socially responsible thing that you ought to be doing? Let me ask you something.
is socially responsible, making sure that the Christian church and the Jewish synagogues stay strong, that Judeo-Christian values permeate society? Is that part of your surgical agenda? I'm sure it is, right? I mean, that's what we were founded on and built upon. It's got to be part of your social agenda. So you would rather incorporate, let's give to your church and synagogue. We're going to do that for you. We're going to incorporate that. That's going to be part of our socially responsible work that we're going to do. Write a check to the church. Write a check to your synagogue. Right, build those organizations, build those churches so that they can reach more people. But it's not, it shouldn't be a focus of your business. Wouldn't it be great if you loved bringing value to your customers and your stockholders like you are going to embrace and all get around the table and just hug wouldn't it be nice if you felt that way about your customers? If you felt that way about bringing value to your customers? If you felt that way about your employees and making sure they're happy so that your customers have a good experience? Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? I know that's a little out of the box for all of you men and women, but wouldn't it be a wonderful thing if you spent the same energy doing that? Hey, I want to thank you for watching the clip. We sure do appreciate it. Would you go right now, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps us. We would appreciate it. Thanks again.